So I've noticed a lot of people have asked about this. So this is an iPad Pro, um, a sixth generation, and this is how I pulled in my budget by paycheck workbook into GoodNotes. So basically I have this up right here and it's GoodNotes and Notability. So I use GoodNotes specifically for my workbook. So I already have my workbook here and a couple of other notebooks, but I'm gonna show you how, if you wanted to bring a new one, you will click on new and import then it would take you here so in my drive i have my budget by per paycheck workbook uh you may put it on outcloud drive um or any other location to pull it in so let's look for it and mine is right here so we're just going to import it we're going to change its name to maybe like i don't know money yeah let's put it with that done and then we are gonna go into it. It's downloading right now, so it may take a little bit. But basically, so this is the cover, and then you can look through. If you hit this right up here, the four squares, you can see a big overview of what you're looking at. So these are like all the months. This got, they're just loading, uh, all the different things you can do. And from here, you kind of just get started and you start filling it out with your Apple Pencil or any other stylus that works for you. So I use my size at a 0.5. So then I can go in and be like, oh, the date of this paycheck is like 5, 28, 19 or whatever. Like, obviously it wouldn't be that because it's February, but you know what I mean. And then you can also just erase that. Now the pens have a bunch of different colors that you can use. And then you can even do a custom color. And then you can even do like the wheel so it's definitely you can do whatever and if we went back to this and I wanted to add this I would just add it to my presets and then I have this really nice neon green added to my pens you also have a highlighter tool right here um, and what's really cool about this highlighter tool is that if let's say I wrote something I was like love if I highlighted it the lettering comes before the highlighter. I don't know if you you can see that, but it, it's just really good. <laughs> um, so the highlighter's same way. You can use different sizes. So if I went all the way up, all the way up. If I went all the way to the tiniest one, ah, sorry. So it's really up to you, whatever you do. Um, the eraser can erase entire strokes or just normal. So like if I wanted to erase this like that, if I turned on the entire stroke, it would erase the entire thing, uh, which is really useful. Um, but back to the highlighter. So there's, again, a ton of different colors that you can use. Again, you can use little squares. You can do the little wheel, whatever you want. And you can just click add presets to add any presets. Um, you can, like, I don't really know if I would use this, but you can do little... Oh, shit. Sorry. You can do little shapes... Um, so if you wanted to do anything, that's the way that would work. That's what that's for. This tool is really cool because you could just grab whatever you have and take it anywhere else in the page. And whenever you are, oops, whenever you are erasing, it just erases whatever you wrote, uh, in front of it. Then I think something that's really cool when you're looking at... So let's say we wanted to do a calendar for January and you're really into like decorating and everything, you can click right here into pictures and you can pull in any picture. Let's say you went on a trip and you really wanted to put that picture in like wherever it would go, then you could put it right there and you could just like zoom in. So you can zoom in and see your pretty face and you can make a note and be like, um, Mexico. And keep that in there and yeah so that's that to take your picture out you just want to grab it and delete and then you're good so this is kind of like what a mock version would be let us go back out and erase this because I'm not really gonna use it I'm move it to my trash and it's gone and now let's look at mine so the way I use mine one of the favorite things that I really enjoy is the fact that like 
if I have only three paychecks, I can just erase the, the extra page. So let's say if I wanted to add another paycheck, I would just hit right here. I would be at add page after and it's going to ask me if I want like all these different pages or if I just want the same template and I'm just going to hit the same template. And now I have added an additional paycheck in June. Now, if I wanted to go back and delete this, then I would go right here and I would move this page to my trash and then that page is gone. For me, that is super, super useful when it comes to my spending. So this is my cash envelope spending. So if I literally bought one more thing this month, then I would have to add another page and again the way that I oh sorry the way that I would do that is by clicking here and adding a page after it's gonna ask me and I could just hit that same page and now I have a new page right after that I can just let's say that I just wanted to copy all of this that is up here I would hit copy and then right here I would just paste and now I just have again a second page with exactly the same stuff so it's just that's just been really great i can also move stuff around so for example um if you have purchased this then you know that there are some additional s things that she has on her website like this tracker this yeah i haven't used any of these things but these are all available in her in her website and in this digital planner, you're just able to put them in there and work work them all in there. Um, you're also able to move one page here and around. So what I did is that every time I go on a trip, I, uh, I will just add the page. Oh, God. Okay, I will just add the page right after the right after the calendar then the budget then a spending tracker for that and then it's all the different um things stuff and things um cool so yeah other than that it works the same you know you're just kind of getting ready for it and filling it out as it happens i actually um I'm working on closing out my June. I'm really excited that I got to pay, pay a lot of debt off this year. Uh, I mean, this month. It was really, really great. Um, and yeah, let me see what else. Yeah, it's all super great. And also, you like don't have to write these a million times because you could just grab it, copy it put right here paste it and then you just have them right there and if you need to move anything so if I wanted to pull this a little up could just do that and I don't know it's just it saves a lot of time and if I wanted to erase anything I could just hit delete and I don't know I really enjoy this so let me know if you guys have any questions actually you know what I'll do I will walk you guys where I got my um my stuff so i when i got my iphone i went into the refurbished so right now the sixth generation works with the apple pencil so um let's say you wanted to get this sixth generation 369 dollars right here um i think i got something very similar to this so then you can do that and i don't think you can buy the apple pencil refurbished but i know i bought mine for like $90 I believe so everything together was like $450 which for me you know it was kind of a splurge but it was definitely very worth it so that is how I manage my, my stuffs on my iPad and my budgeting uh, notebook if you guys want me to talk a little bit more about uh, what each spread is definitely let me know you can buy this workbook on the budget mom's website and I can link her down below and thank you for watching